Swift's new Key Wading 16 is an outstanding tandem canoe for compact paddlers. One of the keys to the Key Wade, entire Key Wading series, including the Key Wading 16, is the, the relatively heroic tumble home. The advantage is, even compact people like myself can get both hands over the gunnel, stack their hands up, and use a vertical paddle shaft. All the Kuwaitans have differential rocker, more in the bow than the stern, so the boat tracks well and turns well. Uh, this, is a, this is a stern paddler's boat. Uh, that's what the differential rocker does to handling. Uh, the stern tracks very nicely, and yet with just a little heel, you can break it loose uh, for a skidded turn. The bow slider allows easy trim adjustment. Kiwaden 16's length to width ratio is above six, which is the gateway for a high performance canoe. The boat is Swede form. It has asymmetrical rocker like all race boats, which gives you a little easier glide, a little higher speed. But the Kiwaden is comfortable, stable, and very, very easy to control. All Yost's recent boats have elliptical bottoms. They're very stable, upright in the water. When heeled to enhance a turn, uh, those generous chines push you right back upright. Kiwaden is a fine tripping boat. In carbon fusion with CKT trim, this canoe weighs a sweet 33 pounds. It's a dream on portage. One of the unique features of the Kuwaitan 16 is it's a fine solo boat. I love the Kuwaitan 16. It's fast, it turns well, it's stable. 